Hello, my name is Mr. Dugdale, and I am an elementary instrumental music teacher for Seattle Public Schools. I work at Green Lake Elementary, Wedgwood Elementary, BF Day Elementary, San Isol Elementary, West Seattle Elementary, and Queen Anne Elementary, and Madrona Elementary. Don't know if I already said that. It's so many, sometimes I lose count. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys some flute stuff. We're going to be working on our finger fluidity and precision. How fast we can move our fingers and putting them in the exact right spot to make the best sound possible. And all you need for this lesson is your flute. I'll give you a few moments to get that together. Great, welcome back. We have our head joint, body, and our foot. Little foot right here. So, the first thing that we want to do is warm up. We want to have amazing posture with our feet flat on the floor if we're sitting down and our back straight up. Or if you're standing, make sure that your shoulders are not up or down in any weird angles. Okay, and we're gonna start by breathing deeply in and out. and in and out. Now that our lungs and our body are properly prepared to play our instruments, let's start with these things called long tones, where we hold the note for about eight seconds, six to eight seconds, and see if we can get a pure tone, just to warm up our fingers and our embouchure, our lips. Flute players, let's start on B flat. Thumb, first finger, and first finger, plus our pinky. Six counts. One, two, ready, and. Again, and. Two more times. One more time, and. Great. Now we're going to do it on C. First finger and pinky only. Ready, and. And again, and. Two more times. One more time. Now let's play it on D. Remember, D is the opposite fingering of C. Everything that was put down for C is now up for D and the other way around. Two, three, one, two, three, and thumb. One, two, ready, and. Six beats, ready, and. Two more times. And last time. And now for E flat. Add that pinky. We took it off and we're going to put it right back on. Just like that. Pinky time. E flat, pinky time. Ready, and. Two, three. Ready, and. One last time. And now F, put our first finger down and put these other two up. Keep our pinky down, this is F. One, two, three, one, and our thumb. F, six beats. One, two, ready, and. Two, 
guys remember you can do this as much as you want until you feel properly warmed up i feel pretty good right now so let's move on to finger fluidity and precision so we have a lot of fingers and a lot of buttons one way that we can improve our skills as woodwind players is by working on our finger speed we'll do this by starting on b flat and we're going to go from b flat to c B flat to C. Ready? And. And then a second time a little bit faster. Ready? And. And third time, go as fast as you can. That was pretty fun, right? When you're practicing on your own, do this as many times as you want, or more as many times as you can. Now, let's move from B flat to D. First time, slowly. Second time, a little bit faster. And third time, as fast as you can. That one is pretty tough because you need to go B flat to D and that's a lot of fingers right there. Now, this one should be pretty easy. B flat to E flat. Slowly. Pretty good. How about a little faster? and as fast as you can. And last but not least, B flat to F. B flat to F. This is the only thing that moves. A quick reminder for all of us to keep our fingers curved and close to the flute to improve our precision and fluidity. Yeah? All right, B flat to F. First, slow. And now, a little faster. And 
And now, a little faster still. When you're practicing on your own, you can start on any note that you want. You can start on D and go to F, and then D and then go to C. And then D to C. D to E flat is really easy. And fun to play. Wow, how time flies. That was an amazing lesson, and thank you so much for playing with me. I know that I miss all of my students very much, and I know that all of my elementary instrumental music colleagues miss theirs as well. Remember, keep practicing and wash your hands.